Welcome back. In June's primary, voters in Virginia's 10th Congressional District will be choosing a new member of Congress. There have been many candidates lined up so far to run for the seat, including my guest tonight. He's State Senator Suha Subramanian, who is up late with me tonight here on The Final Five. Good to see you tonight, sir. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you as well, and great to be with you. Uh, so I know that this is a, a very long process when you go through a contested primary, uh, hoping to get that, that nomination here. Uh, you're looking to succeed uh, your fellow Democrat, Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton. We know she's stepping down due to health concerns. Uh, you're currently in the state Senate. Why, why are you looking for this, uh, this new opportunity? Yeah, you know, I'm a father of two girls. I, I've served my community as a volunteer firefighter EMT, um, voter protection attorney, former tech advisor to the Obama White House. So I've served in a lot of ways, but I think this is, um, you know, just stepping into the big shoes that and a big void that Jennifer Wexton is leaving. Uh, you know, a lot of the issues that I get in uh, as a state senator in Loudoun County and, and having represented Prince William is our federal issues. And so this is a way to directly help people who've reached out to me in the past. And, you know, frankly, you know, I have a long track record of taking on tough fights and winning. And um, a Congress right now is a tough job, uh, but I want to see some change. And I believe in the future of our country. And so I want to be part of making uh, this country move forward and um, creating a brighter future for it. The district has changed a little bit because of redistricting over the years, but this is a seat that Barbara Comstock uh, filled for a while, and then mm -hmm. she was defeated by Congresswoman Wexton. But when you look at Loudoun County and Prince William County and, and the entire 10th district, I mean, it's, it's not a it's not a monolithic district where everybody always instinctively votes Democratic or Republican. Uh, there are issues that, that that could that could send voters one way or another. So when you look at this race on the federal level, what are the big issues? Is it is it the economy? Is it education? Is it crime? What what is it? Sure. You know, I'll just say generally, you know, Congresswoman Wexton uh, did a great job of reaching across the aisle, getting Republicans to vote for her. She made this very purple district look blue. And I think we need someone who's outperformed the Democratic ticket over the years. As a state senator who represents a lot of the district already, I've always outperformed uh, the, the Democratic ticket and I know how to and will be the best candidate to keep this seat blue. And one of the reasons why is that, you know, I think people in the end here, they care a little bit less about party affiliation, more about um, just getting things done. I think, you know, uh, I've been a champion on, on gun violence prevention. And I think uh, I've done that in a bipartisan way. I've been a champion on reproductive rights and done that in a bipartisan way as best I could. And uh, certainly when it comes to rising costs, like the cost of prescription drugs, you know, toll road costs here, um, you know, uh, you know, even the uh, cost of, of daily goods at the grocery store. I've done a lot at the state level to take on really tough fights against really uh, powerful special interests that I've won over and over again, whether it's the NRA or whether it's prescription drug companies. So um, I think that's the kind of leadership that this uh, district needs and deserves. And it's what will make sure we keep this seat blue. One of the things about Virginia right now, as you well know, serving in Richmond, is uh, you have a Republican governor uh, who, for a while, had a Republican House, now has a Democratic House and a Democratic Senate. In Congress, we have a Democratic president, uh, a Republican House. So, I mean, there has to be compromise. There has to be some willingness, as you said, to, to reach across the aisle, which is something that uh, Congressman Wexton has done in the past. You were involved with the, the Commonwealth Caucus uh, in Richmond, trying to work with people on the other— because it's 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 not a— it's not a huge majority either way. You you have to you have to at least get a few others on your side to pass important legislation. Are, are, do you think that right now there are too many people in Congress who are just worried about uh, appeasing the party, their own party, and nobody else? Uh, absolutely, you couldn't have said it any better. You know, I founded that caucus you mentioned. It's basically to get Democrats and Republicans to talk to each other, work together, and you know, I try to do the same thing. With our neighbors, uh, you know, I, we have neighbors now. With a Democratic neighbor not talking to Republican neighbors. Uh, the future of our country involves um, us working together. Uh, together, we are much more powerful. We can get so much more done. And you know, it doesn't matter where you come from, who you are, who you love, or your party affiliation. I want to be your champion. And so, um, yeah, you know, that's uh, you hit it spot on. That's how we get things done. That's how we move our country forward. And I see too many people today just trying to be the loudest or get the most attention and, and or care about their next election. Uh, I, I have a, two daughters, they're four and they're two, and I want a future where, you know, we're thinking about 10 or 20 years down the line what their future is going to look like, not just our next election or not just, you know, how many Twitter likes we get. 
<laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that seems to be the uh, the rule of the day right now for, for a lot of people uh, in Washington. So we have uh, early voting starting on the 8th. The primary is on the 18th. What does is, does what is the schedule look like for a candidate like you between now and then? Sure. You know, we were out knocking doors today. Um, we're, the great thing about our campaign is that people already know who I am. Um, I've got a track record of success as a state senator in the area. And um, people know that I, I'm not afraid of a fight. And so uh, I think we're just going to, our strategy is to just get, get people out to vote uh, that already know who I am and just make sure they vote on June 18th. And so um, if people want to get involved and volunteer, they can go to my website, SueHouseForVirginia.com. I was just going to ask for the website, but you did it for me. I appreciate that. Senator Tua <laughs> Subramanian uh, joining us here on The Final Five. Good luck, sir. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Have a great day. Talk to you and soon. And The Final Five is back right after this.